Hey there, Mr. Weaver here. This is topic six, lesson two, and what is an exponential function? After this lesson, you need to be able to explain the basics of exponential functions, and you need to be able to determine if a pattern is exponential or linear. You'll know you're successful after this lesson if you can explain how exponential functions change over time, and if you can distinguish between exponential and linear functions. An exponential function is a function whose value changes by a constant or common ratio. Essentially this means that it is multiplied by the same value over and over. This compares to our linear functions that we saw back in topic two and three where we were adding or subtracting the same value over and over. Here we are multiplying over and over. So let's look at an example of an exponential function compared to a linear function. So Mr. Weaver, me, created a YouTube video that was not math related on his page. You told some different friends. How fast would the video go viral if you told four new people about it each day? So let's think about what's happening in this context. You tell four people. So you now know and four people know. There's five total. You tell four more people. So nine total people. And four more. 13 people know. 17 people know. And so on. So our total went 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, and so on. This is linear. It's adding the same amount every time. Now let's look at the second part. How fast would it go viral if you told four people and then the next day those four people told four people and that kept happening every day. So you told four people. Those four people all told four people. And then those four people told four people. So we are multiplying our total by four each time. So it started with you, multiply by four, four again, four again, multiply by four again, and so on. This time, if you told four people, then they told four people, now we're up to 16. They told four people, we're up to 64. They tell four people, we're up to 256. They can tell four people again, we're up to 1024, it goes up a lot quicker. This is an exponential function where we're multiplying by the same amount each time. So linear was where we were adding the same amount each time. Exponential functions, we're multiplying by the same amount each time. Let's look at what the graphs look like. So on the left, we have a linear function. It's adding four each time. Compared to on the right, we have an exponential function where it's multiplying by four each time. Both of them are increasing, but notice the exponential one here is increasing a lot quicker than the linear one. If we put them on the same thing, it starts off where the linear one's actually ahead. You can see the purple line here is above the blue line, but pretty quickly, the blue line takes over and now gonna be ahead, you would get a lot more people. This is why companies will advertise. They hope that somebody sees something and will tell other people rather than them just telling everyone themselves. It gets through more people and the total number of people who've seen their ad goes up a lot quicker. Now it's your turn. Pause the video, read through the situation and come up with a couple different numbers to show how your functions are changing based on the context. Then determine if each is linear or exponential. Let's check. So the first one, you are telling five people each day. So your total would go from one to six to 11 to 16 to 21 and so on. Compared to if you tell five people and they tell five people, you are multiplying by five each time. The top one is linear, the bottom one is exponential. 
In this lesson, we were introduced to exponential functions. They are just functions that multiply a start value by a constant or common ratio each time. For example, in another context, if a bacteria split in two, so it's doubling every hour, then there will be two times as many bacteria every hour. So we started with one, multiply by two, multiply by two again, multiply by two again, and so on. They increase or decrease very quickly. We didn't see any decrease examples here, but you will see them in future lessons. These compare to linear functions that are changing by what's called a common difference each time. That just means that the same amount was added or subtracted each time. So here an example would be if you order from a weekly food service, they deliver meals and you would receive a constant amount each week. So your total number of meals would be start with one, maybe to test it out, get five the next week, and then five the next week, and then five the next week. Your total is just increasing by five each time. It's not multiplying out each time. So after this lesson now, do you know how to explain how exponential functions change over time? And can you distinguish between exponential and linear functions? If you're not sure about these things, go back and watch some of the examples to determine the difference between exponential and linear functions and to solidify what an exponential function is. And that's the end of lesson two on what is an exponential function.